legend tells of a band of noble guardians sworn to vanquish evil and to save our kingdom. But they remain lost in the mists of Garhul, hidden to all but those who believe. The latest tune out of Toontown is a movie that is wise beyond its years. Dreams. There's nothing wrong with dreams. It's a mouthful. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gaul. Those birds are doing something terribly wrong. And you're going to need to fly a long way to get to the Guardians. You mean they're real? And the actors lending their voices to this film are a who's who of British acting royalty. Well done holding your own in there, good, strong gizzards. There were some really scary beasts out that way. I was attracted to this project because I've really never done... Um, such a big role in an animated film before. I did a very small role in um, The Prince of Egypt. I played a very gorgeous, gorgeous um, Egyptian queen. Um, but um, I, that was all, and it was a pretty small role. So I've always rather wanted to do an animated film. And, and this, I hope that this is the beginning of many more. Grimble's death was unfortunate. But you... You had a chance to follow your brother, but you didn't. I am Naira, Abla General of St. Egilius. Helen Mirren might be typecast in this film, not as an owl, but as a take-charge regal female. Let us go! What's this? You leave her be. Oh, a spirited little Taito. Naira is rather regal. I have played a few queens in my life. I haven't only played queens. I've also played housekeepers and police detectives and, um, uh, you know, mistresses of gangsters. And I've played all kinds of characters, actually. But obviously, playing the queen um, was a very iconic role and drew a lot of attention. So people now are beginning to think of me in those terms. Terms. The trick in my in my job is to always take people by surprise. What about my brother? Oh, where's he? Oh, Clive! Owlet, that one says you're his brother. Would you like to join him? Naira is a rather... She's an, she thinks of herself as an aristocratic character. Actually, she's a... What's the word? An apparatchik is what she really is. I didn't think so. Clark? Now there's a soldier. Acting for an animated film is much different than acting in front of the cameras. I'm starting to think that you might actually deserve to stay. Obviously it's a very different thing. Um, doing a, a voice in an animated film as opposed to the character in, in, a, you know, in, a, in a movie movie. Um, and you have to put an enormous amount of energy in the voice. And I'm a huge admirer of American actors. American actors who, who um, voice animated movies are so brilliant at it because by the nature of American speak, it's full of energy and full of commitment. What are we going to do, Soren? We're going to find the guardians of Garhul. We all come this far, each protecting the other. When you have grown as far as you can, Halfway there. And now Helen Mirren and friends are guardians of a story that will be seen for years to come. There were some really scary beasts out that way. You can breathe now. <sighs> the Legend of the Guardians, I hope, is one of those films that is absolutely a film that children of all ages can enjoy, but also buried within the film is quite a serious message. What are they really doing here? They've built an army. Powerful enough to take over all the Owl Kingdoms. I hope the children will see that it's important to be an in individual, that it's important not to go with the flow sometimes, in fact almost always, um, to have the courage of your own convictions and not just do something because your mates do it. Uh, that's a very important lesson for all children to learn and it's a very difficult lesson for all human beings to learn. Um, and I think ultimately maybe that's one of the messages of the film. Follow me! Get them! We're not finished yet, boy. 